Okay, so this is just a um, quick one. A really, really, really cut down version of my history of the alphabet. So, as I started to say in my video, before I started rambling about COVID-19 and stuff, um, before an actual alphabet existed, there were these little tokens about the size of a 25p <laughs> coin, if such a thing exists, 50 cent coin, whatever, uh, shaped like a, a walnut, a peanut, cashew nut. And so I buy you, I buy three sheep from you, and I give you this token, uh, this walnut, uh, to say that I've paid in some form. For these three sheep um, so you trade three sheep for three cows or you can use tokens so these tokens are from 8000 BC and as I said in my previous version of this growing up with gods like Kenham, Kenthoven and stuff um, we were taught that the universe existed was created in 4004 so any of the dates that I've put in my earlier tutorials were adjusted to fit Ken Ham's time. So they're not relevant anymore. My my pharaohs of Egypt start after um, Shemham and Japheth uh, Mitzrayim was the f in, in, in the creation evangelistic conspiracy world. Mitzrayim was the founder of Egypt just after the flood. So none of that's true. So now I'm adjusting to using real dates. So we have stuff here that's 8,000 BC. So I'm wrapping my head around that. Sorry. So these were used in southern Mesopotamia and they were adjusted to be used in the Arcadian Empire. And these were developed from pictographs, so there's a whole history, I won't go into mega detail of this episode, whole history of how those paintings of, of goats and sheep and bulls on the cave walls became this, these tokens, and then pictographs. Pictographs are what we're going to see, um, but just pictures to represent uh not vowels like b consonants just like bits of words so there's no a b c d e yet so it's one of these chestnuts or peanuts or walnuts will eventually be the word boi which means king or something like that so we'll get to that um so yeah so small tokens out of clay to represent the items that they've purchased so an early form of money and my, my conspiracy theory was, why don't we rebuild the system that's 8, 19, 11, 100 years old to not found civilization on coinage, on money. Anyway, but enough rambling. Let's get to, to part two. Okay, so part two. Um, this is a beginnings of an alphabet system in the cities of Uruk and Jamdat Nasser, and I can't pronounce those words, 3300 BC, the name cuneiform means wedge shape. So they just press sticks into clay and then dry the clay out. Um, it's a Latin word, cuneus, which means wedge. So still, we've got pictures of, of jars and bottles of milk and, and chairs and stuff, but they're not an alphabet. They just represent. So I'll go into what they represent in the next bit. Okay, so the, we've got here SAG. I, who named these letters? Scholars named these letters. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, 3200 BC, SAG is head. Gin is to walk. Su is a hand, C is barley, Ninda is bread, A is water, Ud is day, Musen is bird, 
and there's a different form of the same thing in the I'm not going to say I might get it wrong <laughs> um, so this is the the um, Arcadian cuneiform version of pressing sticks into clay this is what so head the head became all one two three four five six seven sticks <laughs> don't ask me how that happened and look this bird's gone sideways so don't ask me how that happened somebody decided that for our version we're going to stick the bird on its side okay so what the wadi l hole inscription so this letter here is this head is a raish in the Hebrew, eventually in the Hebrew alphabet, Resh. B is Beth. And we've got some H's here. This is my goalie. Here's another soccer player. And the bird there is an A, I think. Imagine being the person whose job it is to, to decipher something that's like 4,000 years old without knowing what on earth it could be and figuring out what the letters are it's just amazing so i've made up my own little chart to make it easier so the upside down bird is aleph or a the the b the nine looks like a b it's base in hebrew here's a hay so my goalie is a little soccer ball ah they're the football players the goalie his here is hate hate which is a hard h and Tav is a cross, and we'll get into that. Okie dokie, so the chestnuts and walnuts and, and bottles of milk are starting to become an alphabetic system. This is a very, very cut down, it was a huge subject. So in the proto uh that the English letter A, which is Hebrew Aleph, represents or did used to represent a an ox head so a is ox head b is tent floor plan g is foot uh, d dalit is tent door h is a praise the lord w is a tent pig because why not <laughs> z is a plow h is a tent wall tav is a basket so these aren't in any pacific order the old is a hand or arm oh, my arm calf kof calf sorry for my brain uh is an open hand i need to fix that slide gosh lamed is a shepherd staff mame is water in noon is a sprouting seed samek is a thorn ayan is an eye pay is a open mouth tsade is destinational path kof a q is the sun at the horizon unless you're a flat earther then there's no horizon uh Reish is uh head like the Wadi Al Hal Al Hal Raish, yep. Seen is two front teeth, and Sheen is two front teeth as well. And Tav, there's our two cross sticks. So we still haven't got shapes for the letters yet, apart from an ox head, a uh, floor thing, whatever. So, but they're no, not, nothing like the English alphabet at all, or any alphabet. So, on to Egypt. So, we've got A is represented by this bird dude. It took hours for me to draw. <laughs> I can't draw. Bait. Uh, B is the hand, and it also is a foot. And it's also the duck. Yep. Okay. C is a feather, is it? D is a pot. No, Gimel. Sorry, G is a pot. Get it right. Dalit is a hand. Hay is a house. 
uh, if or why is a snake uh, or va um, it's like a U or a W could be either or is uh, what is that a penguin no it's not a penguin whatever it's not a raven the other ducky dude is a Z uh, Z for not hath is a basket Taith is sticks I don't know yo two feathers calf is that's a basket again isn't it but it's a side on view Lamed lion my favorite letter uh, Mame is the owl Nun is uh, water Samek iron Pei Sade is a snake Kothresh Sin and Sheen I think they're reeds growing out of the water yeah that's right all right well, as we'll chuck this one in here, we've gone back to 2600 BC to 30, 2500 BC. So, Arcadian cuneiform, which just means sticks pressed into clay, and the Ugaritic cuneiform. So, that letter shape for A is completely different in that language. Yep, and blah blah. And some of these alphabets have a su, some of them don't have su's, they have a D instead stuff like that so all sorts of mickey mouse stuff going on here so then i'll finish it off with the uh um, don't forget this is a completely cut down version totally out of order any logical order so we've got the discovery of the rosetta stone which is the key to unlock the egyptian alphabet and possibly contributed to many other alphabets being decoded after being a dead language for thousands of years so up here we've got the demonic i could be i could be wrong demonic hieratic it could be hieratic demonic and there's the greek so some dude read this greek basileus so that's king um and was able to translate all these letter shapes these symbols hieroglyphics to figure out the language and so i bought this in the museum in auckland when the show came over the rosetta stone show i've lost both of them i don't know how but again we got a forearm foot hillside tethered rope hand vulture horn viper pot stand okay hope hang on let me learn enlarge it rope shelter reed leaf cobra open mouth owl water quail ah he said he was a penguin didn't i stool basket open mouth folded cloth lake bread loaf sieve uh, cow's belly that's an udder yeah or a goad is it yeah quail chick again horn viper quail chick again he's very popular our quail chick basket with a folded cloth two reed leaves and a door bolt so there you go i'll end it there that the getting from these to paleo hebrew phoenician alphabets is a whole nother like it's a huge it took me 10 years to study it all so yeah it's a whole nother thing um might do an episode on that but this is just the basic cut down overview of like 2000 years of leader shapes and forms thanks for watching bye